Memorial Fund started in Molly Tibbetts' honor is growing to more than $100,000 right now. The money raised helps raise awareness about children's mental health. It also provides art and music therapy for children at the University of Iowa State Family Children's Hospital. Turns out Molly dreamed about being a child psychologist, and that's why her family started this fund. Her mother, Laura Calderwood, works closely with the Child and Adolescent Psychiatry Unit to help find the best way to use that money. Local 4's Taylor Bozier joining us live from our newsroom tonight with how important talking about mental health can be for children. Taylor? Good evening, Jim and Ann. Well, just like adults, talking about mental health and destigmatizing it is also beneficial for children. The earlier they learn that it's okay not to be okay can make a big difference. And that's exactly what the Molly Tibbetts Memorial Fund is working to change. If you don't talk to anybody about, you know, the fact that your diabetes is out of control, then your diabetes isn't going to get any better. And it's the same for depression and other problems that our youth face. So the best thing to do is to talk about it. That's what the Molly Tibbetts Memorial Fund is helping people do. Talking about it is enormous. It allows people to feel they can talk to their family members, get social support from family members, which is a big part of recovery from mental health problems. Molly's mom, Laura Calderwood, plays a part in deciding where the funds go. She's very, very supportive, has uh, allowed us to use funds to purchase iPods, to do music therapy on the unit for supplies that are needed, for gifts at the time of the holidays, because it's a really hard time when there's a holiday and you're having a mental health crisis. The holidays are also tough on Molly's family. Kids on the unit made Christmas cards one year, a little Christmas tree with handmade ornaments to give to Molly's mom. Creating a special relationship between the kids in the unit and Molly's family. All to help get people of all ages more comfortable talking about mental health. We think that if you get the mental health problems better earlier, you have a chance to prevent the long, longer term problems. Now there has been $125,000 raised by more than 1,200 donors over the past three years. We have a link on our website at ourquadcities.com if you are interested in donating.